Monday the 7th of March 2022 MB04 day 02 it's fresh however over there is Tesco's uh, 146.9 and a cost of coffee start the day with coffee and bacon roll so here's the plan for Monday it isn't really much of a plan Mondays are you'd be surprised a lot of pubs are still closed and here's the thing two years since I last used my Weatherspoon's 50p off voucher from the camera 160 pint and um, this is Nook of Pendle by someone or other Hallows thingy, 5% alcohol by volume. Nice head, but I think it could have settled for longer. Which means yeast. Which means good for you. I'm going to take my time. Mmm. Malty, fruity. It is still a B. Plus. Mm, a solid day. So there are three guest. I don't know if a guest is. Real ales on. This is Sinbin by Boxing Brewery. I think it's 4.1%. Anyway, it's malty. There's a hint of coffee in there. Spillage. Maybe a touch of fruit as well. That's good. An exceptional but good. B plus. Mm. Um, coffee slightly bitter finish. I've ordered some food, so massive condiments. Devon Dew by Summer Skills. 4.5% alcohol by volume. Mm. Mm. Sweet honey, lemony, lemony bitter finish, long lemony bitter finish. Mm. Not bad, B plus on the bed. Queen Vic, it looks open. I've seen it go with a point. Although it says Witchwood, it does say great car scales and free Wi Fi. And why not? Tim Taylor's Landlord, 4.3% alcohol by volume. A classic ale. I think this one's seen better days, which is a shame. Not because probably we've got a bad seller, because. We'll More food, but think how he is. Anyway, I'm going to give this um, technical to B plus. Mm. 